they want to have an actual reason why the group would flop. Because I haven't heard a single one. I've seen so many videos about, oh, like, I think, I think. It's like, it's not about what you think. It's about looking at the facts, looking at the climate of K-pop, looking at who's actually in the group. <clears throat> Does it look like I'm in heaven? Is it so white outside? What is going on, guys? It is a hot Thursday afternoon. I wanted to just do a car rant where I talk about what's going on in K-pop right now in regarding to Super M. So, I've been seeing a lot of... Hold on. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of people talk about Super M ever since my reaction video came out. I really want to go in and talk about Super M a little more and kind of like talk about the concerns that a lot of fans have with Super M because it seems like a lot of people don't get it. Like, uh, it's... Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just talk about this. I'm ready to roast! I'm ready to roast! What a lot of fans have with Super M is the fact that they're just taking a random route. It's like, there's no strategy, there's no, you know, coordination, nothing makes sense, you know what I mean? But that's just simply not true. Like, okay guys, I know that we, like, especially these K-pop fans, we love to shit on like SM and like YG and sometimes JYP, but especially SM and YG. But here's the thing. SM Entertainment is a business, okay? This is a part of their business plan. They're not just doing this for fun. They're not doing it like it's it's somewhat it's somewhat of an experiment because at the end of the day, SM doesn't really know how this is gonna like work. But there are a lot of people who are like, oh, SM, just do whatever. They will. It's like, this has all been planned out for a very long time. You know what I mean? SM, SM is a million, probably almost billion dollar like business right now. And K-pop is almost probably a million, a billion dollar industry. So do you really think SM is going to come out here and put their, put their most attractive and most like Western friendly members of their boy groups? together for no reason like no you know you know i'm not gonna talk about that i'm just gonna rain a little bit because a lot of people when they talk about super m you know they want to make it like oh well, i'm not gonna support that because sm is um starving me from my faves having to come back and blah, blah blah and i'm like your faves are in the group you know what i mean like this is like <sighs> and a lot of people also want to make it like sm doesn't really know what they're doing when like i said they are like a complete business entity and they meticulously, they thought about this decision and they're doing this at a great time. Like, let's talk about the climate of K-pop in the Western world because it has grown to like an, an amassable feat. You know, we have like BTS selling out literal stadiums all around the country and the world. Then on top of that, like your favorite K-pop group has probably came to America already so far in this past 2019 we had so many groups especially in march and april like can we talk about my wallet like it's gone like my money is gone i've literally in this whole year i've seen blackpink bts like twice um twice <laughs> and i've like this other groups and we also have kcon and things like that and just k-pop keeps growing popular in popularity so this is the perfect time for sm to debut this boy group especially this is something that SM really did right. SM got, SM already has reputation with NCT fans, with EXO fans, with, um, with the Shiny fans. So of course, of course, the best thing for SM, SM to do, instead of trying to push like all these different groups who have kind of like medium to like good quality like fan bases in America, they put, uh, They put all of their most popular members of their most popular groups that do well in America and they put them in a group so that they can promote in America. Like, that is a great idea. You know, this is not a bad idea. Like, as, like I said, SM's a business. They know what the hell they're doing. You know, a lot of people are like, well, the group's gonna flop because blah, blah, blah. Okay. Does anyone have an actual reason why the group would flop? Because I haven't heard a single one. I've seen so many videos about oh like i think i think it's like it's not about what you think it's about looking at the facts looking at the climate of k-pop looking at who's actually in the group like i cannot explain to you how this is why i'm moving 
I cannot explain to you how great of an idea this is for SM Entertainment. I already have all these popular members of groups that are already established, some who have been uh, doing K-pop for like a decade, like Shiny and Almost EXO. Pretty sure this past year was their like seventh or eighth anniversary. You know, and we also have NCT who did really well on their tour this past time around. You know, like if this is perfect. This is literally perfect. And all of these members can speak English. You know, like they're all very like multinational. Especially Lucas. Ah, oh, I love Lucas. I'm obsessed with Lucas. Like I can talk about him like all day. Some people are talking about boycotting this group because, like, they're like, oh. Like I want to support like Mark and Ten and Lucas and Taeyong, but like they're in they're in this they're like in Super M. I won't be supporting Super M because blah blah blah. And I'm like, why? So you're not gonna support your face because they're not where you want them to be. Make it make sense, girl. Guess what? It doesn't. You can't make sense out of something that doesn't make sense at all. So in short, I think it's really important to understand what S what SM is trying to do and to actually support your faves because if the group flops. If you're like, well, I'm, I'm going to encourage people not to support the group. And then when someone's like, I'm not going to support the group, like a hundred more people see that. Even if you, even if you think no one's going to see your random Twitter posts and like, it gets like three retweets and like seven likes that that's like hundreds of impressions. And then eventually people are going to be like, oh, what's the point of supporting this group when no one else is going to support it? Because you know, the law of social proof exists. So in turn, you're basically like making your faves feel stupid. And like, I mean, cause they're not doing this willingly. SM is like, I mean, the boys are basically products of SM and in turn, SM is making them into a group. So why wouldn't you want to support your fave? You know what I mean? It's like, I just don't understand how people don't want to support this group. And it's like, if you're like an NCT fan, if you're like an NCT stan or XOL and or like a Shawl, the, le the first thing you should be doing is supporting this group because it's showing to SM that this is a good idea and that their and that their fans in turn are dedicated enough to follow this group and create revenue for them. You know, like this is a great time. I keep saying it, but it's a great like what SM is doing is perfect. It's perfect. It's great. So, you know, if you don't support the group, they're still going to make money regardless you know but i think it's really important that you do like stream like you don't have to buy tickets and stuff like that but i think it's important to support this and show sm and other k-pop companies because when you because when sm sorry because when sm does this they're not just doing it for their data for their numbers other k-pop groups are what other k-pop companies are watching this you know what i mean this could bring so much more opportunity we could actually get like a like a sm town in in LA, New York, and Chicago. You know what I mean? Like they could they could like do something really cool and like do SM Towns in America because they don't do SM Town in America anymore because they did it once in like 2011. They went to like Anaheim and then they did something at Madison Square Garden. But that was like almost 10 years ago, you know? And they do it like everywhere else. They did it in, I believe in Dubai. They, um, you know, they'd go to a bunch of other places, mostly in Asia, but it would be, wouldn't it be great to have them come here? Exactly. So by you not supporting Super M, it's just, it's just dimming the chances of American and Western K-pop fans of having the liberties of having more K-pop interactions. Because this is a, this is basically like, I mean, it's an investment, but it's also a test. You know, it's a test to SM to see, okay, um, you know, is our, not just K-pop, but are our groups, have we done good enough to where their fans know that the group exists? You know, we're getting the, we're getting the social proof out there. We're getting our name out there. And are they willing to support us? You know, and you know, you can kind of say whatever you want. You know, I agree. You know, I feel like SM is kind of like using the fans of, of the members in the group to make the group popular but that's kind of the whole point you know it's a and they call them the avengers of k-pop oh my god i didn't even do, i didn't even talk about that in my first video sm really was out here like okay girl these are like the pinnacles of male organisms like i said in the first video which you haven't if you haven't seen you better check it out but like i, <laughs> I totally forgot they called them the avengers of k-pop like i mean they're not wrong I mean, at least they're the avengers of sm i'm not sure if they're the avengers of k-pop but we got some hella talented dudes up in in that group so i would recommend guys please go out and support this group don't sit here being a salty ass stan because you know what 
you know what you're gonna you're gonna stream anyway you're gonna watch the music video you're gonna buy the merch you're gonna like whatever they do you're going to pay attention to and be a part of anyway so there's no point in being like oh i'm not gonna support like don't be bitchy don't just hate a group because everyone else hates them because that makes you a sheep actually find out if if when the group comes out their stuff's not good hey I didn't say nothing <laughs> you know like if the group comes out like in October and if the music just sounds bad and you know Capitol Records a shitty promo then roast me let me turn on this window hold on this window oh it is so hot Michigan should not be this hot honestly climate change says hi so in short support the group don't be a salty stan okay you should be supporting a group even more if you're if you're like a fan of these guys of these of these members of the group you know i'm an xol i've been waiting for xo to come to america come to chicago for like the past two or three years and i, I mean i got kai and bacon i mean that's not the whole group it's not chenyo because chenyo's my bias but that doesn't mean i'm gonna be out here like oh blah 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 no that means if the group does well we're gonna get more of sm groups here you see what I mean? Like, this, it's great. It's a ushering in. It's, it's like kind of like SM's full breakthrough into the market, which in turn, they all the groups have strong fan bases, like I said. So it's just going to be more successful. It's going to be great. You know what I mean? It's going to be awesome. A lot of these people who are, who are you know, crit criticizing SM, they're, they don't know how to run a business. They're, they're not thinking in like a technical sense. They're, they're just thinking off of their emotions and what other people are saying. So, there, there's that. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe. I come out with K-pop content almost daily. And I, Crackhead Nation, join Crackhead Nation. We are an army of crackheads. And we're also woke. Well, we're not stupid. But we also enjoy, you know, K-pop and having fun and stuff like that. So, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, comment what you think because i really want to hear what you guys think because when i made my video my first video i was surprised to see how many people actually enjoyed it compared to all the videos that are shitting on it so thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a lovely day and remember you are always loved especially by me bye tour you guys want me to do like a vlog of that like talk about my experience <laughs> let me know <laughs> bye